Hello, this is Michelle and I. Welcome to the November Astrology. This month, all the main planets are going straight ahead, giving us oomph, giving us vim and vigour, and we can all get on, thank goodness. Not necessarily with each other, but certainly with what we need to do in the universe. We also have a fabulous Venus and Jupiter conjunction, shimmying love, shimmying? sizzling, shimmying, sorcerizing love into our life. It's expansive, it's beautiful. Make the most of it. Here's your monthly astrology. Hello beautiful Pisces. November is a sterling, stunning, fabulous month for you. Because not only are you, I was going to say back to your old self, but that's not true. You're back to your new self, your empowered self, your warrior self this month. As Nep okay, I might as well cut to the chase. Because Neptune, your ruler, is going direct after a very long retrograde. When your ruler goes retrograde, you have to sort of really get down and, and deal with all the practicalities of life and you get dragged back into the past. Maybe you're presented with lessons that you are used to or old lessons you thought you'd overcome. And it's like, oh, not this again. However, generally, you've been much, much stronger over the past few months and I'm sure you handled it well. But when ne I'm going to go again, go straight to the end of the month on the 22nd when Neptune goes direct in your sign, you're like, oh, thank God. Goodness for that. Praise be to the universe and you will feel your magic return. You will feel like Superman has got his kryptonite back. You've got your magic wand and you can be the fairy that you always have been and you can conjure uh, and then see the magic in the world again. Somebody switches the light on, it goes from black and white to colour. Very, very good. But that's on the 22nd. What happens before then? Let us see. Firstly, Venus is sextile Saturn on the 3rd. You're feeling very strong and powerful when it comes to your career and when it comes to money, when it comes to being powerful in general in your personal one-to-one -one relationships and dealing with people that are powerful. You know, Don is that shy little fishy that used to swim away whenever there was someone dominant around. You can handle anything because I believe you found your inner strength. And if you haven't, I believe you can do it and maybe start doing it this month when there's a lot of fire in your belly. Um, the full moon on the 4th is giving you a fabulous, stunning new idea. There's inspiration pouring out of the universe. There also could be a very important conversation. So if you get an email, a text, anything that day, read it through six or seven times to see if there's some something there more than is at first apparent. Now, Venus is opposing Uranus that day. You may be feeling that somebody's not pulling their weight financially or you want to break free and you want to be your own person. You may even bump into someone who's really powerful and there's a bit of a naughty attraction there or a kind of you know, soul connection, but you know it's a bit shady for some reason. When Mercury shifts signs going into your career zone, you're like, yes, I'm strong. I know what I want to say. You come across as very um, believable. You come across as in control. So if you're not feeling that, if you're feeling insecure or a bit fragile, just tune into that energy. You know, feel the universe supporting you in what you've got to say career-wise. Venus is shifting signs and making you a bit of a wild one. You are coming into your feral side. You're coming into your ex explore. Anyway, I can't even say that. You're adventurous, size. Put it that way. You, you want to be free. You want to experience new things. You're attracted to people who are unusual or different or from a different culture or have different ideas to you. You're very inquisitive. Um, and you're also very spontaneous when it comes to love and a little bit fearless. So that's all good. It's very, very exciting. And if you travel, it could be that you meet someone important. Not least of which, because on the 13th, we have a massive day when Jupiter and Venus come together and again, it's in your adventure zone. It's it's an unleashing of the wild woman within, or wild man, or wild they. There is uh, uh, the ability to express yourself, to be honest about your desires, to be honest about what you want, and to, to leap into erotic situations, feeling confident and brave and bold. So if that doesn't sound like you, maybe you'll meet someone who leaps towards you and they're bold enough to express their desires. Um, Venus is also trying your ruler Neptune on the 16th. That's exciting. Venus being in your wild place. Neptune being in your 
your space. It's just like you're opening up, you're blossoming like a flower and you're feeling strong enough to express your sexuality, express your beliefs and say what you've got to say. And you know what? Life is short. It's very important we express our authentic voice. We embrace our desires and we live fearlessly. And that energy is all around you this month. Now, Mercury is also sextile Mars on the 17th. You've got something to say. You might have to be powerful and strong when it comes to something happening around your work. But you also can be wise. You can switch on that intuitive side and you can see what's going on underneath the surface. And you have kind of x-ray eyes to do that on that day. And that will serve you well. You don't necessarily say anything straight out. Observe and go through the back door. Now, have I mentioned the new moon yet? The new moon is also in your adventure zone. So any, and it's not just about adventure and being a warrior and putting yourself out there or traveling, although it is all those things. It's also about your, your life's philosophy. You might find a shift in that as well. But you, you are closing the door on something and entering a new realm. So whatever you considered your boundaries may stretch with that new moon. Now, a bit tricky on the 19th as we have Mars, the planet of war and action, in a very deep, erotic place for you. Uh, about money and about power as well, not necessarily just erotic. Um, squaring Pluto, you might have a bit of a power struggle with a group of people. It may be a work thing, it, whatever. It could be any old group of people that you are, you are involved with and it's like you have a different view. But okay, you might win that battle because you, it, for you, it's in a very powerful position, your Mars. But these two, there's big drama when they come together. So again, don't necessarily react in the moment, although you may be furious about something. Just take a step back. Where are we now? Sun shift signs goes into your career zone on the 22nd. Again, you're on, in full power with your career this month. And um, also, as I say, Neptune goes direct. And that is, you know, the, the joy of you, the beauty of you is you do have this magical side, even if it's hidden. Even if you appear like the most normal person in the world, you know that you believe in magic on some level. And in a way, I bet you many times in your life you've created magic. And when Neptune goes direct, you're going to remember that and you're going to see it in the world again. And it makes you feel like a oh, sense of relief. Take care, gorgeous, and I'll speak to you soon. Hello, wonderful one. Thank you so much for listening. It would be fabulous if you liked, subscribed or shared. It would be really, really helpful. Also, I have a ton of free stuff for you. Horoscope.co.uk for everything astrology and michellenight.com for everything psychic and free tarot reading. See you there.